Before the 1920s, the conventional wisdom was that the universe was static and eternal. There were no galaxies, only stars forever in all directions. But in 1929, that all changed. In the Mount Wilson Observatory above Los Angeles, Edward Hubble was hard at work observing the stars when he made a discovery that forever changed our understanding of astronomy. Edwin Hubble was examining the spectra of pulsating stars called Cepheid variables. Cepheid variable stars pulsate with a frequency that is proportional to their absolute magnitude. They are thousands of times more luminous than our sun and provide us with such a benchmark known in astronomy as a standard candle. In astronomy, a standard candle is a light source of which the absolute magnitude is known. Standard candles are useful because we can use them to measure the distance in space. Consider a 100 watt light bulb. If it is closer to us, it will appear brighter, and if it is farther away, it will appear dimmer. There is a relation between the amount of light we detect and the distance to the light bulb. Edwin Hubble would use a similar technique to provide evidence that the recessional velocity of a galaxy increases with its distance from the Earth, a property now known as Hubble's Law. Hubble discovered that the universe is much bigger than we ever knew and what we previously thought were nebulae are actually galaxies outside the Milky Way. That would be pretty amazing if the story ended there, but it didn't. Further research has been done using a technique called spectroscopy. Each of the chemical elements has characteristic wavelengths it emits once heated up or will absorb once light passes through it. For instance, if there was a cloud of hydrogen between a source of light and a spectrograph, the hydrogen will absorb its unique wavelength and will ignore the rest. The absorbed wavelengths of hydrogen would show up as black lines on the spectrograph. A spectrograph breaks up the nebula light into its separate colors. This tells us what the nebula are made of. But once the spectrum absorption lines were analyzed, Something interesting was noticed. The familiar lines were there, but they were shifted down towards the red end of the spectrum. The light had been red shifted, meaning that space itself is expanding, causing objects to become separated without changing their position in space. This is known as cosmological redshift. In 1927, the Belgian Catholic priest, George Lemaitre, proposed an expanding model for the universe to explain the observed redshift of spiral nebulae and calculated the Hubble Law. The isotropic nature of the expansion was direct proof that it was the space, the fabric of existence itself, that was expanding, not the bodies in space that were simply moving further outward and apart into an infinitely larger pre-existing empty void. It was this interpretation that led to the concept of the expanding universe. This is where the idea of the Big Bang came from. Every direction we look, galaxies are moving away from each other. Which means that yesterday, they were closer, and the day before that, they were even closer. This reasoning can be followed back until everything in the universe is in the same place. What started the Big Bang? Did it happen naturally based upon laws we don't understand yet? What happened before the Big Bang? What is the universe expanding into? These are all subjects that we'll be touching upon in upcoming episodes. Thanks for the support, everyone. It really means a lot. Like, share, and subscribe.